What is going on YouTube? C Robbie Rob here back with another video and today we're going to be showing you some of my favorite and best arm movements body weight style. Now with body weight training, training arms can be a little different, definitely a little challenging, but hopefully I'm going to show you guys some easy exercises that you can start incorporating right now to really blast your arms. These are not only some of my favorite, but they're some of the best in my opinion in targeting your arms. As you guys might know, with body weight training, calisthenics, it's a little harder to isolate muscle groups. So isolating your biceps or triceps or overall arms is just a little bit more difficult with calisthenics than it is with just weights. But that doesn't mean that we can't do it. It just, you really have to be particular in what variations we're doing. So what I'm gonna go over with you guys is four exercises, two tricep exercises and two bicep exercises that you can do in order to blast your arms. Now these four exercises are going to include bicep curls on the rings, chin-ups plus hold at the top for biceps, and for triceps we're going to be doing a dip variation as well as some tricep extensions, some skull crushers, body weight style. Using these four exercises I promise you guys can start to grow your arms and double in size in a single day. Well not really. So the first exercise we're going to be going over is bicep curls on the rings. Why are we using the rings? Really you can't do these in a good way without some type of rings or TRX bands, something that you can hold on to and really curl. If you absolutely have to, you could use a low straight bar and still accomplish a similar movement, but the freedom and flexibility of the rings and the TRX bands are, is what's going to allow you to really get the most out of this movement and squeeze and isolate those biceps. With this exercise, we're going to be focusing on doing 8 to 12 reps for maximum muscle growth and focus on squeezing the bicep, lowering on the eccentric portion slowly. When you do this, you're going to think of curling your hands up towards your forehead. So when you do this, you're not doing a typical row, even though you're lining up almost in a similar fashion. What you're actually doing is you're pulling the rings towards the top of your head and then when you get up to the top of that movement, you really want to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze on that peak of that bicep. If you really want to feel the squeeze a little bit more, you can actually turn those rings inward as much as you can. This is going to activate your brachialis. For all of these movements, we're going to be doing three to four sets. I actually recommend four sets on arms. It's just something that I really like. Uh, we want to push ourselves, so the key here is to always find an angle that is both challenging that also allows you to hit the rep ranges that we want to hit. We want to hit in between 8 to 12 reps, but ideally by the third or fourth set we really want our reps to either lower or be struggling to hit those top rep sets. This is going to be key for promoting muscle growth as well as just overall getting the most out of your workout. Now the second exercise we're going to be going over is these chin-ups with a little bit of a twist. So when we do our normal chin-ups, sometimes as we get more advanced they get a little bit easier. If you guys are really advanced, I want you to add weight to this exercise. I, I do weighted chin-ups myself. It's one of the exercises I highly recommend and it's a great way to progress with calisthenics. One of the top gymnasts actually said that the best way to grow your arms is with weighted chin-ups. It's something that they only do to grow their arms and their arms are usually huge. Most gymnasts have insanely big biceps and triceps and a lot of it's just from these body weight movements. Now on this exercise, instead of just doing a normal chin-up, we're going to do a regular chin-up, but then we're going to extend our chin away from the bar, about three to four inches, and then we're going to hold and pause at the top for anywhere from three to five seconds, depending on your skill level. This is one that you guys should play with. For beginners, you can use a band and still accomplish the same thing. I want you to hold at the top of the movement, as this is really going to help you progress in that area. In doing this, by keeping our chin away from the bar, we're activating a lot of our bicep and holding ourselves up with a lot of our bicep. Obviously, since this is a chin, chin up, it's a compound movement, our back's always going to be involved, but we're still going to be targeting our arms really well here. This one's definitely challenging, especially to get those eight to 12 reps, so try this out. I think you guys are really gonna like this exercise. Now let's go over the tricep exercises. We're going to be going over the dip first. So on a traditional dip, you're going to be hitting your shoulders, your triceps, and your lower chest. And what we're going to actually do is, instead of performing our dip with a slight lean forward, we're going to stand almost straight up. 
And when we do these dips straight up, what we're actually going to be accomplishing is targeting the majority of our tricep. This is something I've utilized with weight before and had a lot of success with. Um, my triceps always get fatigued out when I do these exercises. On your straight up and down dips, you're going to do same thing, eight to 12 reps. We're gonna shoot for four sets. Once again, I want you guys to challenge yourselves. To make this exercise a little bit more challenging, you're going to lower down slowly to about 90, and then you're gonna explode back up and you're going to repeat this for 12 reps. This should be pretty challenging, especially since we're isolating the triceps. This dip is going to be harder than a regular dip that includes your chest and shoulders a little bit more. And the last exercise we're going to be covering is body weight skull crushers. This is one of my favorite tricep exercises that I've been using since I started calisthenics six years ago. This body weight tricep exercise is definitely one of my favorites. What we're going to be doing is you're going to position your hands about shoulder width apart. Now you can actually do this exercise on a straight bar, the ground, or we can use the rings again. In my opinion, to get the most out of this movement, depending on your skill level, the rings are the best. They take away any cheating as you have to fight the stability with just your body weight. You can always change the angle to make these easier or harder. Now when we do these skull crushers, it's important just Try to keep your elbows tucked in. You don't want to flare your elbows out. Um, try to keep them as tucked in as possible. Starting out, you might have to flare just a little bit, but with calisthenics, we always want to practice good form. So try not to flare your elbows. Focus on coming down nice and slow and really pushing through your arms. Focus your energy on pushing through your arms. This is going to help build a mind-muscle connection as well as develop our arms even further. With these tricep skull crushers, you can also make them easier depending on what you use. So if you use the rings, they're going to be the hardest, and if you use the ground, it's going to be the easiest. On the ground, you can actually position your hands. The further away your hands are, the easier the exercise is going to be. The closer your hands are to your head, the harder this exercise is going to be on your triceps. So. Find a position where you can comfortably hit eight to 12 reps, and then keep challenging yourself. Try not to hit 12 reps for all four sets. Try to make it so hard that by the third or fourth set, you're only getting to that eight rep range maybe. But really push yourselves on these. This is gonna be the best way to grow your arms with body weight training. Body weight is different than weights. We have to be creative in our training in order to accomplish the same things. One of the best things that I do is I teach you how to accomplish similar things to weightlifting with just your body weight. You don't need weights. Both have their benefits. I wouldn't completely exclude weights. I am not a die-hard, one-way of training person. I think it's great if you do weights and calisthenics or however you want to train. But in my opinion, adding in these body weight exercises can really help shape your arms, define them, give you an overall physique and look that you've really been looking for, and just help you with your overall health and movement. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Drop in the comments which exercises you would like to see me cover next. I love doing these videos for you guys. This has been a great one. We have arms, maybe we can do abs as the next one. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys are interested in in-depth training, you can actually go to my website. Check it out at crobbyrob.com. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is open to just a limited amount of people. So make sure that you reach out for that. You guys can send an email in my email down below. And I also have custom training programs available to help you guys reach your goals. Calisthenics training in particular can get really confusing and hard at times. It can be hard to know if you're making any progress or doing the right exercises, and that's why it's sometimes a good idea to have that extra bit of structure and have someone look at what you're doing. If you guys are interested, you can check all that out. But thank you for watching this video. We'll catch you next time.